Perkins. <gasps> oh, come on. Why isn't this working? Come on, blow him up. I'm trying. Not exploding. <laughs> come on. What kind of creeper can't even explode? Shut up, I'll do it. Just need some time. Oh, you've had your chance and you failed. Let me try. Now he's getting away. Great job, Carl. Hello. Who's there? Don't worry. I'm not here to blow you up. You... You're a creeper. No, yeah, I'm the one who tried to blow you up back there. Sorry about that. So if you don't want to blow me up, what do you want? My friends have kicked me out of their gang. They say a creeper who can't explode is no creeper at all. So I thought I'd join you. Join me? Yes. Look, I'll level with you. You look like a bit of an idiot, but I've lost all my friends and I've got no family. What happened to your family? They blew themselves up, obviously. It's what every creeper should do, but for some reason, I can't. Why would you want to blow yourself up anyway? Because that's what creepers do. Right. Can you help me find my way to the surface? Probably not, but I can try, I guess. Just follow me. I can't see in the dark. Right. Just follow my voice, then. I'm Carl, by the way. Dave. That's a stupid name. Trust me to get stuck with Dave. The surface is overrated anyway. I don't know why you'd want to go up there in the first place. I'm on a quest to kill a dragon. Oh. Shh. Zombies up ahead. I can hear them. <sighs> we'll have to go the long way around. I say, chaps, this is all very spitting. They've got Porkins! Who's Porkins? He was traveling with me. He's a pigman. What's a pigman? It's a bit like a pig, but a bit like a man as well. Ugh, is that fire ready yet? I'm starving. Me too. What are we eating? <sighs> what idiots. Fire ready now. Let's get cooking. Uh, is this, is this a prank, chaps? Oh dear. I must say, I, I doubt I'll taste very nice. Very tough meat, I suspect. Well, what now? We don't have any swords. Hmm. <gasps> well, I, I must say, this is a bit too hot for my liking. If anyone can hear me, help! Get away from him! <sighs> Get away from him or I'll blow us all to smithereens! Yes, but they don't know that. Thank you, Dave. You really are a hero. A dragon doesn't stand a chance. I thank you too, little man. I don't think I've had the pleasure. This is Carl. He's a creeper. A friendly one, uh, sort of. What do you mean, sort of? I'll have you know that for a creeper, I'm amazingly friendly. A friendly creeper, what fun. I just know we're all going to be such good friends. I've never wanted to blow someone up more in my whole life. Isn't it wonderful? No, not really. First of all, we need to do some mining. We need diamonds for armor and tools, and obsidian for building a nether portal. A nether portal? You want to go to the nether? I don't want to go. I have to go. I need blaze rods. I, I can't go with you, old chap. I can't go to the nether. What's the matter? Scared of ghasts? I come from the nether. Until a few years ago, I lived there. But then something horrible happened. You don't have to tell us if you don't want to. No, tell us. I love horror stories. My people, the pigmen, have lived in the nether for generations. It's a hard place, but we had a good life there. Until three years ago, when a strange man came to visit us. Do you know the hero, Steve? All too well. Well, this man looked just like him. Apart from his eyes were white. He called himself Hero Brian. My people were always being attacked by ghasts, and the man promised he could make us stronger so we'd be able to fight back. Our leaders agreed, and Hero Brian gave us all a potion to drink. I was the only one who didn't trust this chap, Hero Brian, so I never drank mine, but everyone else did. By morning, Hero Brian had gone and my people had been transformed into mindless zombies. Even my own father didn't recognize me anymore. He just looked at me blankly with his dead zombie eyes. I ran as fast as I could until I found another portal inside an old fortress and used it to come to your world. I've been here ever since. Thank you. I hope you understand why I can't go with you. 
I can't stand to see my people like that, reduced to being mindless zombies. I understand. Cora and I will go by ourselves. Hey, I don't remember volunteering for that. I'm not going to the nether. What's the matter? Afraid of guests? Very funny. Well, I guess this is it. <sighs> I'm coming with you. You and Carl are all the family I've got, old chap. I'm going to help you. Well, I'm glad to have you back with me. Can we stop all this lovey-dovey stuff and get on with this? The quicker we get in the nether, the quicker we can leave. Okay. Here goes nothing. Ooh. Run, chaps! Hmm? looking for. We'll need to find a fortress. That's where the blazes are. Let's keep going and find a fortress. There are quite a few throughout the nether, ruins of an ancient civilization. Some of my people used to say that they fortresses. Either the old people transformed into blazes, or the old people created the blazes and the blazes wiped them out. The stories differ depending on who you ask. Either way, the blazes are the only things that live in the fortresses now. Well, there are rumors of other creatures living in the depths, but I've never seen them. Ooh. Let us go, you fiends! Unhand us this instant! Yeah, let us go, you freaks! Where are they taking us? I've no clue, old thing. Maybe to cook and eat us? Thanks, Morgans. Very reassuring. No, or rather, he used to be one of me. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> 